Yeah, who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? <laughs> I just gotta take this left turn up here. Hey, Kevin, you seeing this? Rambo stole the golf cart. Yo, Rambo, take me with you. <laughs> See ya. Orangutans, otherwise known as the people of the forest, are one of the smartest primates, coming in at number one for IQ of all primates. They use this intelligence to be one of the few animals that use tools. They have been seen using sticks to get termites or bees out of trees. They've also been seen using leaves as gloves to hold on to prickly fruits or other kinds of prickly branches or just whatever. They've also been observed using rocks to smash nuts or sharp rocks as cutting devices in zoos. Some have even learned a little bit of sign language and as you saw at the beginning of this video, even learned how to drive golf carts. Yeah, I know, from what I could find, it's true. An orangutan in a zoo in Dubai named Rambo was originally taught to drive on smaller play cars, but then was later given the wheel of golf carts. Not much is known where Rambo came from or how she got to the zoo, but nonetheless, she is an efficient driver. They're not just smart. Orangutans are about seven times stronger than humans. Since they live most of their life in the trees, swinging around, they gain a lot of strength. They are also the largest tree-dwelling animal alive, with the females tending to be the smaller of the sexes, on average growing to a little over three and a half feet tall and weighing around 80, 81 and a half feet. The males tend to be about two times larger, getting to about four and a half feet tall and weighing around 190 pounds. Orangutans also have a seven foot arm span from fingertip to fingertip, which is crazy, especially for their height. It's so, it's so disproportionate. Their feet look a lot like their hands and can be used the same way. They even use them to gather food and eat, which is gross. They have a pretty interesting life cycle compared to other animals. Female orangutans will decide on a mate, usually choosing a dominant flanged male. By flanged, I mean that some males will grow fatty flaps around their head called flanges, and it usually happens when they reach maturity, like full-grown maturity, around the age of 35. Females prefer dominant flanged males, and mating with them is usually cooperative. Most babies will be fathered by one of these dominant males. However, younger unflanged males may also father children. It just tends to be less cooperative on the female side of things. Babies will be born around three pounds and will be small enough to fit in a human's palm. Orangutans are also very attentive mothers uh, with offspring not leaving their mother until around seven years of age, usually when the mother has another baby, which means they only have babies once every seven to nine years. And that's the longest interval of all mammals. The mothers will spend those seven years teaching the baby how to survive on its own, showing them what food's good to eat, keeping the babies away from poisonous foods, and even sleeping in the same nest as their offspring until they have the skills to live on their own. This gives orangutans one of the lowest infant mortality rates anywhere in the animal world. Only about five to 8% of them unalive in the first year, which is impressive. After leaving their mother, unflanged males will live around other unflanged males and even sometimes flanged males much to the flanged male's annoyance. The flanged males may occasionally chase off the younger unflanged males, but they usually tend to be nonviolent and just kind of put up with the younger males. Flanged males, however, tend to mutually avoid each other, but they may end up fighting if they get too close to 
food sources that one orangutan may like, or if there's a female around, of course. The orangutans can live 40 to 50 years, and some even reach their late 50s in captivity. These people of the forest are very unique, and they used to live all over from China down to Southeast Asia, but unfortunately they're now endangered with a population of around 100,000, and they only really inhabit Borneo, Sumatra, and Malaysia. With the Sumerian orangutans only having a population of around 7,500 and being considered critically endangered. This is mostly due to the fact that they live mostly in trees and humans are cutting down their habitats. Hopefully with the conservation efforts being taken, they will once again thrive. That's all I have for this video. Please let me know if there's something you want me to talk about or if I got anything wrong in the comments. Liking and subscribing would also be greatly appreciated and as always, stay curious.